Welcome back, everyone. It's a beautiful May morning. Not really. Not really. I'm just trying to be positive. I'm trying to have a positive attitude. It's tough. It's hard. Um, weather, weather-wise, it's cloudy all morning, and then afternoon we got a little bit of rain. Not too much. After that, it looks nice, though. So the end of the day will be good. And that's important because we've got a couple... Well, we got a ton of stuff to do. Um... Canola is ready. The soybean are ready. The grass is ready. The um, I went through the process of uh, gathering up. Let me just run over here. We can get a bit of a visual thing going. Um, you actually, you probably can't see it that well now, but that new new plot of land, I I got it all mowed, got it all uh, windrowed, and I got it all um, picked up and put it in put into our fermenter and i didn't I, I turned off the um selling piece uh because i just wanted you guys to see how much i gathered up over there so that's really important for today that's really important because i don't have a harvester and i don't have a silo and i got way too much stuff to do so Let's have a look. Uh, right now, we've got 77,000 liters of silage that's already been produced, and it's continuing. And the grass is um, another 65. So we pulled about 100 and... What's that? 140-something um, off of that field, which is fantastic. Super fantastic. But, but I need to turn on the cell. Uh, it's really important right now because I need to buy... Harvester. I need to buy a harvester. Um, and I'm going to have to settle a little bit, which is which is fine. Which is fine. So we're going to set that to selling as soon as we hit the uh, 9 o'clock mark. It'll all be sold. In the meantime, guess what? It's May and the wool. It's time to sell the wool as well. So, yeah, this is kind of crazy right now. Um... I kind of moved ahead a little bit to, you know, get get stuff caught up. But in the process, I've also triggered a whole bunch of new stuff. I need my trailer. It's got wood in it. Uh, not great. Not great. Uh, I need the trailer. I need to be able to deliver my wool. Actually, let's have a look for a second. Let's have a look. Where is the best price for wool? That's a good, good question. It's actually at the market stall. So... Uh, given the amount of chaos that we have today, I think I'm just going to go ahead and sell it right here. I do, however, need this guy with the front loader to pick up the pallets. I'm going to leave the trailer there for now. I have to figure that out. We're going to get rid of this claw. Uh, I bought the, the wood pulling skitter thing. Um... So that I could deal with lumber, but we won't have time to do that just this episode. Let me put this away for now. Wood's gonna be probably next next month. Oops, what did I just do? Thought I disconnected it. Oh, that's the weight. Oops. There we go. Let's get the pallets and fix. Uh, camera clipping problems all right let's get all that wool actually we got wool here don't we let's see if i can do this without creating a major problem uh, it's kind of tight working indoors isn't it the camera i mean i don't know if putting stuff up here was a great idea Okay, we got one. Let's get this sold. It'd be nice to grab both at the same time, but so be it. I really need a silo. That's a that's a problem right now. We're gonna have to spend some money. We probably have to buy something cheap. Actually, that's good money. That is really good money. 
we've got a few pallets to sell so that's going to be awesome how's everybody doing today we didn't get one pallet of pig food that came out that could just be sold as well I don't I'm not sure we're gonna get into pigs here got my hands full on the white white farm series pigs getting out of control enhanced animal mod is uh, it's a beast it uh, really changes the game quite a bit that's two So I had a look at harvesters. Um, there's there's a few options. I can see a few steps. I, I think I found my end. I want to call it my end game harvester for this series, but it's not cheap. Um, so I think I'm going to. Uh, I think I'm going to have to settle for now. And get something cheap, that's small, but it's going to do the job. Oops, come on. Uh, I guess not. Let's just see if I can find some longer pallet forks. It'll make things a lot easier. So I think I'm going to start with the canola first because it's the smallest field. Um, it'll get knocked out faster. The other one's going to take a while. It might be, it might become an off-camera thing. I'm not sure. But at the same time, I've got a new, new piece of land that's just sitting there, and I don't want to really rely on meadow grass to come back because it does take quite a while to come back on this map. So I think I'm going to. I think I'm probably going to have to carve a field in there as well. And uh, of course I have a equipment limitation now, don't I? Alright, alright, two more. Well, one and, a, one and a bit more. The money's going up nicely. Got some potatoes to move into the production. We've got some other products to sell and shiny potatoes and one more I want to say one more get rid of this bush here it's kind of uh, creates visibility issues Running over the sheep, the nightmare. Watch out! Oops. All right, that's that. I'm going to pick up these other pallets. We'll sell those right away. Give us enough to get the harvester that I want. Uh, that I dared. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, well, that's horrible. Horrible style. Yeah, I'm thinking that uh, as we grow, we'll probably need more than one harvester. It might not be bad to have a smaller one and a larger one, so we'll start with a smaller one, and then we'll um, add a larger harvester afterwards. And eventually, as we get bigger and bigger, um, we'll we'll just up, keep up, you know, upgrading stuff till we have as many large harvesters as we need. Alright, almost done. Almost done. Come on. Oh no. 
Oh no. That's all right. Okay, that is all the stuff that needs to be sold. I'm going to come and scooch over the potatoes here to keep that that going. I'm going to use an old shoving technique. I'm very good at it. I'm an expert, actually. Certified in shoving. Uh, that's a good shoving distance. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the board on creating the new fields. Um, once that's going, come on, Shoverton. Once that's in progress, we'll get our harvester. We'll get it down here, of course. Well, actually, no, we have a store deliveries mod. That's not a problem. We'll get working on canola. And while that's going on, I'm going to try to figure out how to build a some kind of silo. So, let's give this guy a little break. Alright, now I gotta find my cultivator. What did I do with that? There, it's over there. Now, I did find... I was uh, recording for the white farm. Um... And actually, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's the, the episode where I found it is going to come out much after this one. Um, I'm, I'm way ahead with the white farm, by the way, uh, as far as recording. Um, but I did find a really interesting tractor at an incredible price. So I'm going to try to add a third, a third tractor point. Um, and when I do... It's gonna be a it's gonna be a huge improvement. Um, anyway, suppose I'll, I'll I'll leave that as a bit of a surprise cliffhanger. Um, so we set forth this course, and I'm wondering now if I cannot just use this. Um, let's have a look at what that looks like. I'm wondering if this is. I should probably just go with this, right? And I can adjust it later as needed. My width is obviously different, so that's a problem. Um, see, no, you know what? What am I talking about? I can make my own course on this on this thing here. So I'll do this, and since we're creating, I want to do this anyway. Um, no bypass. Generate. There we go. And I think that's going to do it. All right, let's head up here and get the thing started. Didn't have any problems with this tractor and this cultivator. I did not check to see if there's any good things for sale this month. Doesn't matter, we're kind of committed. Kind of committed to our money. A silo and a harvester is an absolute must. That's got to go first unless we get lucky and there's uh, one of the things we're looking for. The tractor, the uh, harvester we're looking for shows up. That would be freaking cool. Um, all right, so I need to turn on create fields. So we're just going to make a, a normal field out here. Yeah, we'll let this go. This will be, this will take a while. Actually, it shouldn't be too, too, too long. It's, you know, eight meters, right? So, okay. Okay, so that's going. Now let's do the harvester shopping. Uh, wait a minute. I should move the clock ahead to nine. I want to see if I can potentially get this 
There's like three tiers of harvesters that I've picked out, and I would like to see if I can jump to the at least the middle tier. So let's move the clock ahead to nine for the uh, silage to sell. And um, there we go, 74. I think I can get the middle tier that I wanted. So uh, we're going to do that. I'm going to set the clock to three. There's still more silage to sell. We have a look at our production. Um, there's still 60,000 to process. So we're going to be in great shape. So, okay, here's what we're doing. Here's what we're buying. We're, we're going to jump right to the middle tier. I was going to get a cheaper, cheaper one. Um, but I just decided we're going, we're taking a step ahead. I'm jumping through here. Lots of options. This guy here is the one that I want. Um, it's 5,000 liters, so it's not a huge tank. This one's 4,500. Um, the, the beauty of this one is that it's got a 5.8 meter header, whereas this one, which is the, you know, entry level, I guess, has only a five meter. Now that I'm reading it, I'm wondering why am I spending the extra money for really just 500 more in a tank and uh, 0.8 of a meter more. Now I'm thinking I think it might change my mind. I could literally buy two of these for the price of one of these. Oh, um, obviously this is, you know, this is 180 horsepower, so it's not going to struggle with the hills as much. But I don't think this would struggle with the hills, to be honest. Um, you know, it's only trying to do what it's trying to do, carry this much. Let's go cheap. Let's go cheap. We'll start cheap. If it doesn't work out, we'll fix it, right? I do that all the time. Um, oh, 8,000 for a cabin. Screw that. And capacity, it's an additional fuel tank. Yeah, don't care about that. Okay, let's just go with the basic. This is what I was planning to do. Now I'm questioning my second option. Uh, all right, buy this, and then obviously I need the header for this. So buy this, and let's get started. Um, we'll start with the canola field. While that's in progress, we're going to build a silo. We have money for a decent silo. The biggest problem with the silo, though, is where the heck where am I going to put it? We really kind of run, run out of room. So, I got to figure that out. Might have to move the market stall, maybe, and put it there. Okay, this is one of my, this is my favorite small harvester. I've used this many times before. Need to, oops, unload that little door. And there is not going to be any straw coming out of this, which is a thing of beauty. Set a course and... We'll do, uh, we'll just do the one headland, I think. Smooth. Yeah. Let's do two headlands. I'm always uncomfortable just doing the one. Okay, off we go. This is a small field. This should not be a problem at all. The other one, obviously, is going to take quite a bit longer with this small harvester. But so be it. So be it. Okay, next problem. Next problem to solve. Um, we've got... We've got... I could extend this out here. I could level, you know, with the shed. I could level it out here. Um, that might be a thing. That might, I really need to buy this piece of land, so... Yeah, what am I going to do? All right, well, why don't, instead of running around like an idiot, why don't I try and have a look at what kind of small, it, it needs to be a very small silo um, that doesn't take up much space, but can hold a fair amount. 
So something like this. This is a multi fruit. I got no problem with that. It's tall as heck. But this could go here. This could go here. Sorry, I'm gonna turn this around a bit. I could go right there. It'd be easy for me to to change the uh get rid of the market stall, put it somewhere else. I, I kind of like this actually. Uh it's gonna cause interference with my cell tower, probably, but but the other options is I could put it here. That would be kind of cozy, wouldn't it? I do have land here. Uh, where else do I have land? Where else? I could put it. It's not owned by me. What about right here, actually? It's inside the sheep pen, though. Okay. Goodbye. Oops. Why can't I pick that? Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Why can I not remove that? There we go. Okay, we're going to relocate that somewhere else. I am going to flatten this out to make sure it's all good. And let's get a silo in here. The cell tower is just going to have to suck it up. Silo. And I could go with this. What's the capacity? That's 5 million. That's also 5 million. Multi-fruit as well. Not as imposing. Uh, do I want this style? Or do I want this style? I think I want this one. It's not as big. Only 10,000, I can afford that. Okay, boom. Oops, I just... It just did something over here. That's okay. Let's have a look. Yeah, kind of messed things up a bit over here. That's okay. I'm sure our harvester is going to be fine with it. And we can drive in, no problem. Okay, market stand. Market stand, where am I putting that? You know what? I'll deal with that later. I will deal with that problem later. Only one, six problems at a time. That's as many as I can handle. So, uh, we still have 38,000 left now. So that's kind of cool. That's good. Kind of, um, really helpful. Um, tempted to buy another harvester, but... No, I won't. I won't do that. That's going okay. That's going okay. Uh, I wonder if. I wonder if this is something we want to stay in long term. This greenhouse and potato production. I'm wondering. Oh, okay, market stand. Let's do that. Oh, let's check. Should have really checked the sale, right? Okay, there's nothing here, really. I mean, eventually this could be useful. Requires 175 horsepower. It picks up square bales. That's weird. I don't think I've ever used this one before. And what's this? This goes, that's what's that, a manure spreader? Tipper trailer and 706 MT pack. I don't know what that is. I don't know. 
I'm squirreling again. Construction, production, sell points. Um, I think we're further down here. There we go. Where can I set this up? Set this up over here. 642. That's going to be crooked. Um, I'm going to sell right here. Not too cheesy. Put it right here. Kind of cheesy a bit. Tough. Tough luck. That's where it's going. Ugh, really kind of messed up the ground here a bit, didn't it? That's fine. Okay, so we've got a few things solved already. I'm waiting for the... Uh, Oh, that's ready to unload, so let me go get a trailer. Oh no, I got another problem. I got wood in my trailer. I guess, you know what? You know what I could do? Like, I could just unload the harvester right into the, right into here. Just up it. And I want to see where I am. That's good. All right. There we go. That's easy. Canola is the price for canola is not not good. Um, that is this is a fall peak price uh, for canola, so I think that's we're going to be holding on to that for quite a while. We'll sell it if we get desperate, but but we'll try not to. Okay, let's get this. Carrying on. All right, I think I think we have enough stuff. I want to say, um, I think now it's really time to buckle down and buy this piece of land. Um, we're gonna try to make that little harvester work. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna take a long time to harvest that one soybean field, but uh soybean is not due till july so that's not even peak price but at least we can get you know if we can get that stuff off the fields then it will um we can get these fields working again uh we might even be able to get a canola another canola field put in uh which might be ready at peak so all right let's deal with this trailer while we're while we're waiting here Okay. Um, how am I doing to deal with this? I want to keep the wood. I have a plan for that, but... I need to get rid of it. I need to get it out of the trailer. Can I tip? I don't think I can tip. Um... Let's try something. It's a little cheeky. Get my tools. I want to see what's going to happen if I change the change the trailer while there's stuff in it. Is it untied? Yes, it's untied. Customize, and I'm going to need it. I'm going to put it as bale trailer for now, which is a free. What happened to the wood? Okay, it's still there. Take this, move it out of the way for a minute. Turn it up against, so it's going to get lost in the grass. Yeah, I just have to remember it's there. Okay, oops. Disconnect. I'm going to see if I can just shove this off. Is 
as well. I don't necessarily need it for the, the uh, canola. I'm going to need it for the soybean for sure. Get off. I've been thinking about what I want to do for wood. I have some wood. Um, well, let's see if I can shove this. Okay. I think I should be able to pull away. Um, I have some wood. I'm not getting into forestry uh, much on this. So setting up a sawmill seems like a, a waste, I guess. Oh, come on. Everything drop off. Okay. All right. Uh, so I think I need more of a temporary solution, and I was initially planning to set up a sawmill, um, but I'm not going to. I think I'm going to do a, a, a cheesy uh, temp temporary thing. Oops, a little too close. Okay, let's change this back. We're going to customize this into... It's going to cost me an extra 100 bucks. What are the sizes? 18.5. Ooh, we're only 150 bucks. Okay, okay, we'll do that. All right, now I'll put the tools back where they really belong. I'm probably going to move that market stand again. I just needed to put it somewhere temporarily, but I really messed up the ground here, didn't I? Okay. Now we have a trailer. Now we can cart some proper grain. Whoops, now we obviously could benefit from actually connecting it. Okay, feeling uh, a little bit more in control now. We just crossed the 10 o'clock, and um, how much money? I guess it did a lot. Of, it's still producing, so it didn't really produce very quickly. This will be kind of nice. Um, it's going to be just feeding us money slowly. I do have this. That grass field is going to be ready uh, proper next month, uh, so we'll be able to... Fill it back up again. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. 40,000. Let's look at uh, soybean. Uh, at the co-op, it's 31. That's significantly higher than market stall. Um, so let's check the 31. It's actually not terrible. We are in May. We really just should hang on now. 37. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And canola. Let's check canola while we're here. Canola is... Uh, peak is 2280. And yeah, it's quite a bit of a difference. So, yeah. Yeah, we're going to wait. Wait on both. That means... What that means is our money needs to come from elsewhere for um, at least a couple of months anyway. So, okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Um, construction tools. Now, I don't know. Somebody suggested I... I'm not sure where it is, to be honest with you. Somebody suggested there's a mobile, there's a mobile tree selling thing. I don't even know if I have that mod loaded. That's might be part of the problem. Oh, this is Sim Gamer. Uh, had this going. Yeah, had a lot of fun with it. I don't know if you're following her series, of Comlands, but uh, yeah. It's very interesting, very creative way to use this. Uh, what else do I have in here that I could put down cheap, temporary? Ideally, if it'd be something that was mobile, that would be really good. 
toolboxes. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, perhaps in this, that would be tools, maybe. Let's start from the beginning. Look at this. Um, ooh, trees. I could plant trees. Then that might make it worthwhile. Uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to skim over it and miss it. It's a workshop. No, I don't think I have... Unless it's in... No, it wouldn't be in productions. Okay, so I think what I'll have to do is I will have to put down the sawmill and then I can sell it again after. It's this guy right here. And I was consider plopping this down right over here. Um, yeah, that's going to be on the track, though. It's going to get in the way... Um, then it becomes very hilly. Okay, I got a bit of a problem. I guess I have to wait till this that's done over there. Oh, we're on the, uh, the outer laps. Okay, maybe I'll wait for this, and I'll try to I'll try to place it right here. I'll just. I'll just, uh, you know, maybe round out the field a little bit more so that it's, uh, yeah, gives me a little space here. And then we can fix the field back after once we're done. Uh, the idea really is just to haul all the whatever trees I have, haul them down, produce stuff with it, and then get rid of it. So... So, yeah, I had more land though, man. I'm gonna get it in a pickle, you know. You get kind of catch twenty-two mode. I cannot. These trees here are not on my property, so I can't remove these to make more room. This one is not on our property this way, so I can't move any of this stuff. This is fine. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Alright, we're full. I better get on that. want to get that soybean harvest started. Uh-oh. Oh, hope this thing is not too high. Uh-oh. I didn't think of that. Why is it not unloading? Is that because that's a silage? Oh, uh, you know what? Okay, hang on. Hang on a second. It's too high. A, I think it's too high. And B, I think this might be a silage only setting. We'll take grains, which, you know, makes kind of sense. There's holes. Um, so let's fix this up. Okay. Let's fix this trailer up. We'll put it at 1100. That should be good. Okay. Let's try this again. Should be fine now. There we go. I think that's what that that setting was for. Oh, not close enough. There we go. Yeah, I think that uh, that trailer was setting was for silage only, which is good to know. We do have silage stuff to deal with.
There we go. All right, what are we going to put up on that field over there? It's going to be almost ready. I think what I'm going to do is uh, focus on the trees next episode. In the meantime, I'm going to go find uh, the mods uh, on Mod Hub that um, that allow me to have a mobile mobile tree processing, selling kind of thing. Oh boy, look what it's doing there. That was kind of strange the way it did that corner. Okay. Um, it is now May. We need a crop in here that's going to, like, we need, you know, I want to say we need money, we need money. Um, what did it do down there? What a mess. Um, ideally, it's going to be some kind of grain crop that, um, sorry, I'm kind of, it's kind of weird the way it's doing the corners. Um, you know, something that we will bring good money back. I think I'm going to run with oats. I think I'll do oats. The main reason for it is I think I'm a little late for canola. Mind you, hang on, let's look, let's look. Sorry, I'm kind of trying to decide here. So peak is November, and then I don't know what this means, but then there's a sharp drop. So if I plant in May, that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's seven for canola. So whatever this means, I'm gonna assume it's still peak. So yeah, we'll do canola in this field. Yeah. Okay, I got some fixing up to do here because I'm not happy with the way this did things. First of all, it left these these little strips. In the corners, it did this weird banana thing. That's what I'm calling it. Do I want to put the sawmill? No, I'm going to do it the other way. Okay. I don't like the way it did the corners. So let's um, let's customize this. We we are going to customize our field a bit. I'm going to remove the temporary, the uh, uh, manual way that the fuel was created. The course, the manual course. I'm going to run further in here, take up a bit more space. Okay. This thing really is quite wide. Okay, I'm going to run around this way here, and let's see if I can make this a little bit wider. i got to be careful not to go over the, the limit, though. Get 
There we go. It's going to be a little bit better. Or over am I? I'll let that be. I might adjust it a little bit later. I'm just going to take a run up here. I think there was a spot that got missed. Yeah. I'm probably going to paint in like, these weird corners a bit. Make them a little smoother. Alright, let's run over here just to make sure. I think it should be fine over here. No, nope, it's not fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't like those corners. I'm wondering, I should probably fix those before, um, before I start drilling. So, let's paint in a little grass nice and carefully. I don't like the way that it kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Bulges out, I guess. I don't know if that's a good word. So we're just going to try to smooth this out a little bit more. Yeah, not great, but I'm going to do the same thing here. Try to make this a little bit more. Yeah. Once uh, I'm just, I'm not going to put in more grass or anything right now. Once it's, uh, I'm happy with it, then I'll, I'll paint in a little grass corner. It's a little bit better. Same deal over here. Let's turn this in a bit more. All right, that should, I want to say that should be good. What we have over here, all good. Okay, I think that's good enough. All right, let's get rid of this cultivator. We are not going to need it for a bit, so I'll put it away in a nice cozy spot. Get our seed drill out here. I don't remember... I don't remember on this map whether I have a set that workers can buy that buy their own seed and, and fertilizer. I don't think so. I might set that. Although it, it is kind of expensive to do it that way. Oh boy. Yeah, I really got to smooth that out. Put this back over here. Okay. There we go. All right. Yeah, this is an expensive way to do it. I think I'm going to set it like that. Uh, actually, I don't remember what I set it at. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, what did I set it at? Off. So everything is off here. Okay, so I'll, I'll respect it. I'll respect it. Are you still ro rolling? Uh, so I need more seeds. So I'll need to take a delivery of that. And I'm probably going to have to run, run stuff up to that hill. Because that's a big field. That's probably our biggest field now. So... Let's purchase, uh, should I get bags or pallets? Uh, I think I'll get pallets. Let's get two, no, not eight, two. And we'll get uh, two of these. Okay. Let's get this filled up.
Fill it up. Okay, up we go. It's obviously not going to last very long, so we're going to have to run some seed up there. And we said we were going to do canola. The thing that's tricky about trying to price out crops and trying to figure out what's the best deal um, is you have to factor in, you can't just measure, um, you know, I can make this much money on soybean, I can make this much money on wheat, therefore soybean is better. Um, you have to figure also the uh, crop time. Um, in four months, I can make this much with this crop. In four months, I can't make any money with this crop because it takes seven months. Um, so you have to do all that math as well, right? So, okay, so here's what I need to do. Um, I need to jump into this mode. This guy here, delete custom field. Okay. Well, let's start this again. Uh, hang on a second. I have a field now. I don't need a custom field. Let's drive off of it. Drive back on it. Maybe that it recognize it. And yeah, okay, now it sees it properly. Uh, two headlands is fine, smooth is fine, and circle. Oh, and I want it running headland first. Generate. Yeah, that's going to take a while. Oh boy. This is where the, the 150 challenge stuff starts to really, uh, sorry, the 200 challenge thing really starts to uh, sink in when the fields start getting bigger. Um, okay. Let's go. We've got everything going. Okay. Next. Uh, we're finished with this. Get rid of this. Stopped at 95 when it had just as much left to do. Get this dumped, and we'll head over to the soybean field. Don't need to keep the header running. So I w I got thinking. Um, I want to. I want to give a try with some streaming live live streaming. And I really don't know how my internet connection is going to deal with it, whether it'll be acceptable or not. I know I know I'm not obviously streaming in 4K. You know that's never going to happen here. Um, and even 1080p is going to be a challenge. So it'll be a probably a 720p stream, which I think a fair amount of people use that uh, for streaming. So. Um, I think I'm going to give it a go. The only problem is I'm trying to figure out how I can do it without disrupting. You know, if it turns out like pure crap, I don't want to disrupt the process, the, the progress of my series that I have running right now. Uh, if I do get into it and it does work, then I'll probably do like a one night a week kind of stream. But. I have to figure out how to put that into my schedule so that because um, I tend to record ahead of time so I can't you know record next week's episode but then do a stream this week you know what I mean um, th th um, things will get all out of time sync I guess so let's get that going oh my goodness look at that Okay. Yeah, things will get out of time sync, and it'll just it'll just be difficult. So I almost feel like I would need a separate series um, for the streaming. Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know how that can work. Alright, let's get this emptied. This is a rear... Oh no, it's a left side. Left side dump. I do like it, but it dumps pretty quick. I have no idea why I'm carrying this front loader around with me. I will have to run some seed and fertilizer over to that field over there. We have more pig food ready. I might just sell that. Okay, so I need to save up for a new piece of land, and it's not a cheap one. The one I really want is not cheap. You know what? That little harvester will do this job. I mean, it's not going to be super fast, but you know, it'll take a little while, but it'll do it. Um, I just need to keep busy doing other stuff while it's working. Okay, so land. Here's here's my, I want to call it a dilemma, or not dilemma, but um, farmland. This guy here, 179,000. That's the one I really want. Um, that will be a huge, huge improvement over what we have. Uh, but there's other options as well. Let me zoom out a little bit here. Uh, we talked about this one. This one would involve a fair amount of forestry, which I really, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it right now. Um, so I think it's kind of a toss up between this guy and this guy. This guy's a bit cheaper, but it gives a nice, there's a nice pad area here. And there is a bit of forestry, um, maybe not a lot, but enough probably to generate some money. So if I bought this one, put a sawmill up here, um, then yeah, I don't know. I just don't feel like sawmill is, is a long-term thing. Uh, this guy here is a lot cheaper, 131. Could extend this field out a bit. I have another field over here. Um, but it doesn't really... It, it, this isn't flat. And I, I'm kind of looking for flat. That's why I want this one, because this whole area right here is kind of flat. I need to be able to expand my farm. I think I, what I want to do is move my sheep from here up to here. Um, with a, a different kind of pen, not a not a uh, free range kind of thing, uh, something a little bit more compressed, and uh, maybe even get sheep and goats. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about it. Thinking about it. So uh, this area here, ultimately, you know, obviously our our house is over here, uh, but I could extend this field out a little bit more. Get rid of the the um, the silo here, uh, move it, or maybe just move it somewhere else, right? And it just have a bigger field. So I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I mean, ultimately, I could go and do something like buy this for fifty eight thousand, right? Um, and have another <laughs> grass field over here, but it's kind of distant. Um, these are all one eighteen. My dog is beside me whining. This is 119. Um, yeah. Oh well. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the trailer here for now. Hopefully it doesn't run away. Let's get over. And I'm gonna deliver the pallets of uh, seed and fertilizer. I know I'm gonna need them. So I may as well get them over there. I think I'm just gonna deliver them with this. I'm not gonna worry about a trailer. I don't know which one of these has what, but this is a full one. Really should have kept that um, big bag thing. 
be a lot easier to carry stuff around. I'm going to attempt fate here and try to carry two at a time. There's a sneaky way to do this. Mm. You pick up this one. And you tip it back. And you let that one fall onto the... Yeah, there we go. That should work. Oh, maybe. Maybe not. There's a way that you can angle this such that it gets kind of jammed in between the front loader itself and the... Uh... Oh, that's going to fall. Uh, the front loader itself and the other pallet. I think we'll, I think we'll be able to make this work. I think I'll deliver it over the other side over here. We'll put these right here for now. Separate it out a bit. There we go. Okay. Uh, the Massey's at 95, so it's waiting to be unloaded. It took too long. So one of the things with um, buying new land, and, and especially on maps like this, is because you get to harvest a lot of grass um, right when you, you know, right, right away when you buy the, buy the land, you can get on it and harvest all the grass and make silage out of it. Um, is the cost of the fields isn't really as high as you think it is, you know? Because you, you get a lot of money back right away. Uh, especially if you get, you know, you can do it efficiently. So, I think, um, you know, when I think that's the piece of land I want is 170,000, I'm probably going to make the 70,000 back in silage, I think. I'm totally guessing, but um, that's only 100, it only ends up costing 100, but you do have to get the money up front. I didn't set it to stop. That's okay, we'll follow it around a bit. I'm kind of getting in the way. Well, this is kind of crooked. Come on. Is it empty? Close enough. Yeah, my edges are very jaggedy. Need to fix that up, probably. All right, what are we looking at? Oh, geez, we're way, way over the hour already. Well, not way over it, but yeah. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do, um, probably let it roll out off camera as I will harvest up uh, the rest of the soybean and um, get this field drilled and then I think that's probably where where I'll uh, stop um, but this stuff's gonna take a little while this is actually going quite well I, I'm, I'm kind of happy with this um, you know it's not that big of a, a seed drill but it, it does the job 
concerned now. Like I'm looking at the usage and I'm not even 50% on either. And I think I'm more than half done. No, I guess not. It's hard to tell because the, the headland is a big piece, right? We might, might, might be close. Anyways, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, please consider subscribing. Always check the list of other um, farm sim people participating in this in this challenge. Um, there's there should be links to most of them. Uh, it's you know there's honestly there's there's quite a few people um, now doing it, and there's some people that have um, you know been um, regularly um, participating I want to say um, there's some people that have um, expressed interest but I haven't I haven't seen much they, they you know uh, so I, I'm not sure uh, if they're actually participating or not uh, I am not able to watch everything right now there's there's way way too many people and I say that you know there's I think it's freaking awesome that this many people are involved but it's it's hard to keep track of right now um but anyways but do, do check them out and um um yeah there's some really really cool stuff going on so all right i hope you guys have a great day